One project at the top of the never-ending to-do list is the crumbling balustrade, where they want to take their wedding pictures. As a matter of urgency, we know we need to make this part safe because it's a bit wobbly. And falling off the balustrade would be a bit embarrassing for everybody. Or if somebody walks underneath, they'll get a rock in the head. It doesn't sound at all funny, really, when you say it like that. But finding a French builder to fix the problem has been predictably difficult. I got a stone mason quarter three thousand euros to fix it, a thousand euros of which was for the hire of scaffolding for a week. So having asked him to do it, because we thought well, I said I'd do the scaffolding, but he could come and do it. Haven't heard from him for three months. Tried him emails, phone calls, and can't afford to wait any longer. So the bottom line is we're doing it ourselves. Steve, the the tiling, plastering, painting guru that we've got has also done some stonework. So between the two of us. I'm going to save 3,000 euros and we're going to do it in probably two days. I think it's going to have to come off, it's isn't it? It's got to come off. Yeah. And what's interesting, if you look inside here, the piece of metal going that way. The iron rods that have been binding the stonework together for 150 years have rusted and expanded cracking the stone. What they need is some new steel rods to link all the jigsaw pieces together. Dick decides to dismember some of his old British tools. This is not vandalism, all right? This spanner is good metal, but it's also something more carboot seal and it's imperial, which means it doesn't fit many of the, uh, the nuts and things over here. And I've got a whole selection of things like this in my workbox and uh, Chop this up, and all of a sudden, it's got a, it gets repurposed, and it's useful. And what's more, it saves me money. The spanner was made to be unbreakable. Even Titan Dick and his angle grinder are having trouble. The recycled rods are a perfect fit, and a quick-drying epoxy resin secures them in place. It's a type of steel that won't rust, and hopefully it's going to be there for years and years. Dick's new steel rods are set vertically, as well as horizontally, so when the stones are laid on top, they will lock in securely. In the kitchen, Dick's slaving over a hot stove, but he isn't making pan au chocolat. He's baking sand. It's an ingenious trick for the balustrade outside. Dry sand to add to the epoxy mix, so it's this colour, as opposed to being the white mix that we've got, and giving it the texture of stone. That's what Steve said, so I'm just agreeing with him. It's dry in here. I'm going to leave it here until he needs it. It's nice and warm as well. All the rods that Dick's made out of his old tools are set in position so the last pieces of the jigsaw can be put back together. Set on there, it's set on the pins. When that sets, it's going to go nowhere. Mm-hmm. See the last one fits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last pieces of the balustrade are returned to their rightful spot. The mortar which has been mixed with the baked sand, blends with the stone, and Steve fills in the cracks. 